hey, there you are, and I've been sitting here waiting for you. And I'm glad you're here, and I'm really glad that I'm here. <laughs> At least I think I'm all here. Yeah, I think so. Did you do that? I heard something. Maybe it was a woodpecker. It sounded sort of like a... No. Oh, it's somebody knocking on the door. Well, I'd better go see who it is. wonder who it could be. Nice to have a visit. It's Mark. Hi, Hello, Mr. Dressup. Mark. Hey, it's good nice to see to you. See you. you too. Well, come right in and sit down. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. Thank so, you very uh, much. Are you in the neighborhood fixing somebody's refrigerator, or radio, or TV? No, nope, like no, nope, not today. Today Hello? is not a fixing update. Oh, really? Today I came to ask you for a very special favor. Well, great. What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering if I could borrow a costume from your tickle trunk. You see. Uh, well, I'm going to be on television today. You're going to be on television? Yeah. That's wonderful. What are you going to do? Well, uh, you know my friend Peter. Yeah. Well, he and I are going to sing some songs together on television. Oh, it sounds yeah. great. Oh, so you'll fun. need something special to wear. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, I have my tickle trunk. I know. And I'd be glad to show you. Do you have any ideas, by the way? What well, that's want? the problem. See, I know that you are an expert on costumes, so oh. that's why I came to you. I have nothing in mind. Well, we'll just see what's in the trunk. Okay. Go from there. And uh, there's always something in here. Let me help Almost you open this up. up. Thank you very much. Wow. Now, we've got all kinds of hats. Okay. Uh, and hats are really good to wear for shows. For instance, we have this. Maybe you'd oh, like to wear that. that, and you could be a sea captain. Okay. Uh, well, this fits yeah, great. Something, yeah. Um, real... I could be, like, sailing a big sailboat yeah, on right. the ocean or something. Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't think so. This, this isn't quite what I had in mind. Well, maybe matter. something different. There's okay. more. There's more. Now, oh, this is always good. You can always have oh, fun. Oh, look those. at that. Yeah. I, I could be a firefighter. I, yes. I could work in a big city uh -huh. and, and, and hold a hose, maybe, and, and put out a fire. That's right. And you've got red suspenders on. But I, I don't know any songs uh, about fires or firefighting. Oh. Not not even one. That is a problem. That's, 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 mm. Well, don't worry. There's more. Oh, this is something. Uh, oh, I know what that is. Underwear. That, that's a hat that, that a chef or, or a cook would wear. Yes. Yes. Looks good. Oh, it? but I've got the same problem with this. I don't know any songs about cooking. Oh, that's too bad, too. Hmm. Well, but it looks great. It feels good. Oh, let's see. Maybe, Wait, maybe there's, something there's different. Another thing. There's another thing. Look. A cap. Now, a lot of people wear caps of different things, playing baseball, uh, mm -hmm. you know, all kinds of things. So mm -hmm. you could wear the cap and you could almost sing almost any song with it. It could be a. Uh, uh, a workman, a work okay. You could be a farmer. You could uh, maybe a farmer, a, a truck driver. A truck driver? Yeah. That'd be a great idea. We we, we could pretend. Uh, Peter and I could pretend that we were driving trucks. Let's and, try it out. And we could sing a truck driving I'll, song. I'll pretend that I'm I'm Peter mm -hmm. and uh, you're Mark, and we've got trucks and here. Let's try them up. We'll go okay. driving right oh. along. Moving right along. Always moving on Highway going my way Moving, moving, moving right along Coming down the mountain We're traveling to the sea Rolling up and down the hills Traveling where the road takes me Traveling with a load, with a load, stopping down the road, listening to the wheels go, rolling, rolling, rolling right along by golly, rolling, rolling, rolling right along. Well, that was fun. I like that. Well, good, good. But that's the only song I know about trucks. We oh. should do at least two songs. I don't think a truck driver is what I should be. Maybe well, maybe see. there must be one more costume in here. I know there must be. Oh. Well, you know, today there aren't too many costumes in there. And, hmm. oh my hat. I've got well, an idea. I just had an idea. Why don't you go over to the trading post? Yes. Chester is there, and he has lots of costumes there most of the time. Well, that's a great idea, yeah. but I have a problem. Uh, uh, I don't have anything to trade at the trading post for a costume. Well... Why don't you go there now anyway, okay. and I'll come by in a little while with something that you can trade. I can find something around here. Oh, well, that'd be great. You'd be willing to do that for Certainly, me? Certainly. Oh, sure, Mark. well, thanks, Mr. Dressup. Okay. I'll see you in a bit, then. At the trading post, Okay, bye-bye. <sighs> well, that's good, I think. I hope you find something there. All I have to do is find something that I know Chester would like for a trade. Oh, I think I've got it. 
I think I've got it. We were just talking the other day. Chester told me how much he likes little uh, toy model animals, and he especially likes giraffes, he said. And I have a way of making a giraffe out of just one flat piece of cardboard, and I think that's the kind of thing that Chester would be interested in. So I'll, uh, I'll give it a try anyway. Okay, now what you have to do is mark the different things of a giraffe, like the legs and the tail and the long, long neck. Just make them all on this flat, cut them out, and then you fold it in a certain way, and it looks like a, a giraffe standing right there. So I'll start out with the, uh, the legs. Now this is going to look kind of funny when I do it, but it really works quite well. So the legs, uh, see the legs could, this would be the front legs here. Come up like that. Now, I know that looks funny so far, but that's one leg and that's the other leg there. Now, <clears throat> the neck of the giraffe goes right down here. So I think I'll start actually from here because what's on the end of the neck? It's the head. And I have to be sure I have to get, get the head right. There's the giraffe's big ears. So there's the head, and then the neck comes right up to there. So that's the front part of the giraffe. That's going to be the head and the two legs. And I'll turn it around. And now for the, the back legs. And they're going to sort of go the same way. that and like that and then of course there's the giraffe's tail which goes right here <laughs> the giraffe's tail has sort of whiskery hair on the end of it now another thing about a giraffe of course is that it has big spots on it doesn't it so I'll start here with the marker and make a whole bunch of little spots for the legs. And then when we get up to the body, those will be bigger spots there. Yeah. And you know something about the, the giraffe spots? I've seen pictures of giraffes standing in a bunch of trees in Africa, out on the plains in Africa. And because of the spots, it was very hard to see the giraffes. So it's sort of a protection for them so that other animals can't see them when they're just standing there amongst all the leaves and the other colors. All right, now I think I'll turn it around this way and we'll do the head. And the giraffe has two eyes. There's the giraffe's two eyes there. Pretty eyelashes. And this will be the nose, partly brown. And then the nostrils there. Guess we need one more spot about here. Now the next thing to do is the, uh, I was trying to put the wrong top on the wrong pen. Yeah. Next thing is the giraffe's hooves. Front hooves, turn it around, and we do the back hooves. And then we're going to be just about ready to start doing some cutting. Scissors time. Okay, start with the back part and cut right along there. Right up there now from the inside. I'm glad I heard Chester talking about how much he likes giraffes because I think he'll enjoy this. It isn't every day that you have a, a little toy animal that you can fold up to. Okay, so we turn this around and cut here. I'll start cutting in from head part there. Around the ear. 
Actually, you know, giraffes have, have two little horns on the top of the head, but I can't figure out how to just put them on here. Maybe I could add it on later on. I can't figure out how to just make it so I can just unfold it and have the horns in the right place. Okay, the last leg. Here we go. There, and now it's fold up time. First, the front legs. Fold there and there, there and there. Then the back legs. Fold here and here. The tail folds down. And the giraffe's neck folds up like this. I'm going to have to put some more spots there. And there's the giraffe. Well, I will have to put some more spots on it. Tell you what, if you'd like to go over to the trading post now, I'll work on this a little bit more and I'll see you later. Chester was right. There sure are a lot of costumes over here. I should be able to find something I can wear. I found an astronaut's helmet. This is kind of neat because uh, I could pretend that I was an astronaut shooting off into outer space. And, uh, but there's, there's a problem. If I was wearing a space helmet, how could I sing with the helmet on my head? That wouldn't work. Look, a skin diving mask. Now that's neat. A skin diver is, is a person who could swim all around underneath the water and seeing all kinds of fish and things. That would be neat. I, I could swim under the ocean and, and, oh look, there's a tuna fish. And there's, oh, there's my good friend, Benny the Lobster. Hi, Benny. Hi, Bert, how are you? Well, why don't we sing a song together, Benny? Okay, you start it. I can't sing underwater. That wouldn't work at all. Oh, I was sure that was what I wanted to be, a skin diver. Look, it's a baseball catcher's mask. Oh, that's cool. You know what? I know a lot of songs about baseball. Yeah, and, and Peter and I could sing together, and, and maybe he could be a pitcher, and he'd throw me the ball, and I'd be there catching the ball. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let me see um, if this will work. Oh no, if I'm wearing a catcher's mask, nobody can see my face. Mmm, that's no good either. I guess I won't find a costume here today. I better tell Chester. Chester! Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, it's not it either. Oh, I can't find it anywhere. Oh, oh. Chester, no, are you down not there? Here, it's just not here. Chester, are you okay? Oh. Oh dear. Oh, oh boy. Hi, oh, Chester. hi, Mark. Hi, hi. Oh, hi. Did you find a costume? Well, no, I didn't find a costume, but you seem to be having a whole lot of trouble. What's wrong? Oh, well, I'm trying to find something, and I know it's not lost. I saw it the other day. Well, what are you trying to find? It's a jack in the box. Jack in the box? Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be very hard to find at all. Oh, well, uh, I don't know. I can't seem to find it. Oh, well, maybe, maybe I could help you look for it. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you look on the shelves over there, and I'll, I'll keep looking down here. Okay, well, I'll, I'll check out all the shelves, and maybe I'll find it. Wow, you've got a lot of stuff here at the trading I post. Sure do. <laughs> um, huh, this is like a chick in the box, not a jack in the box. Um, oh, well, it's a not funny it either. monkey here. Uh, hey, look, you've got a cuckoo clock. That's almost like a jack in the box. A jack would pop up, yeah. but you've got a cuckoo that would kind of pop out. That's not what it is, though. I well, don't I don't see a jack. In hey. Oh, I thought this might have been the box. Uh, <gasps> oh, I, I see something. It, it might be a jack in the box. It's square and it's colorful. Well, that sounds like it. <laughs> hey, Chester. <laughs> Chester, guess what I found? Look who just popped up. <gasps> oh, great. You found I it. I found your oh, jack in the box. Boy, I hope it still works. Well, I think so. <laughs> 
right, Zach. Sure does. Great. Oh, you're noisy. Well, now I can trade it for the toy moose that I really wanted. Oh, neat. Okay. Boy, well, thanks, Mark. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Hey, did you find a costume to wear? No, I looked and I looked. I think I saw all the costumes you have, and oh. I didn't find a costume for the TV show, so I oh, guess I I'm know. out of luck. I know. Did you look on the hat rack over there? Hat rack? Where? Hey! I didn't see that when I came in. No, it's a new, a new one. Well, I'll have a peek. Maybe I can find something. Hey, what is this? It's an engineer's hat, Mark. Mm-hmm. Oh, for a train. Oh, that's neat. right. Well, that's about it. Hey, what's this peeking out from below? This looks like some kind of an engineer's coat. I hope it fits. I think so. Wow, and look what I found, Chester. What, what, what? I've got a, a train engineer's costume, and I even have a train. This is great. Oh, I found my costume for the television show. Oh, terrific. Yeah. Wow, that's really great. I like this a lot. Oh, you know what, Mark? What? You have to think of what you're going to have, what you're going to trade for all this stuff. Oh, Chester, you see, I don't have anything to trade, but mm. Mr. Dressup, he's going to make something to trade, and he said he'd be here really, really soon. Oh, okay. Okay, so he should be here anytime. I wonder what he's going to make. Uh, did I hear somebody mention my name? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Dressup. Hi, Mr. Dressup. Uh, well, here we are. Hi, oh, and Chester. What did you make? Oh, look, it's a, it's a no. giraffe. You know that the giraffes are one of my favorite animals. Oh, I knew that, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, okay, that's sure. And it's a trade. Oh, that's great, Mr. Dressup. And now I'm, I'm going to be an engineer on television today. Thank oh, you. Uh, there's just one problem about problem. this, Mark. Yeah. Well, your friend huh? Peter called right after you left, and, well, he said that he's got a sore throat all of a sudden, and uh -oh. he's not going to be able to sing on the television show with you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. dear. Oh, I was looking forward to being on television. Well, that's too bad. Well, maybe you could find somebody else to sing with you. Oh, I wish I could, Chester, but I, I don't think so. You see, I'd have to find somebody who likes to sing yeah. and who is not shy. Oh, and right, I've got to be right. on TV in just a few minutes. Oh, well, that is a well, difficult one. I don't hey, know anybody hey, like minute, that. I, I think I know somebody who, you do? who could do all those things. Well, yeah. well who, Mr. Dressup? Who, who? who else but Chester? Ch Chester? Me? Yeah. That's right. You like to sing, don't you, Chester? Yes, I like to sing. And you're not shy? Not not usually. Yeah? Oh, well, gee, I don't know. Um, what would you do it, Chester? Hey, hey. Uh, you know what, too? I can watch you on television. I'll look after the uh, trading post here while you're gone, and I'll see you on TV, too, on your TV. And You'll Chester, see you... me on TV? Yeah. I, I know, I know. Uh, you could drive the engine. I could? Yes. Oh, oh, and, and I could, could maybe wear, wear a hat? Yeah, you could wear your engineer's costume, too. Oh, we could have two engineers on the same train. Wonderful. Why not? Chester, say you'll do it, please. Mm. Oh, okay. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> it's settled. We're going to go on television. Oh, Good. boy, television. I hope I don't get nervous. Oh, you won't be. I'm sure. It's fun. Okay, well, I'll just have to find my engineer's hat, and then uh, um, we'll be um, over at the TV station, I okay. guess. Okay. Good. I'll meet you there, Chester. Okay. Great. At the TV station, then? I know you're going to have a good time with Chester. Oh, I hope so, Mr. Dressel. I'll be watching. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, while I'm minding the trading post, actually, I should tidy up here a bit. It's kind of messy. I think Chester would like it if I did a little tidying up. <laughs> Put these things right over here like that. And, uh, oh, here's a couple of little dinosaurs. I could put them right over there. And... Uh, these things, I guess, could go under the shelf underneath here. Yeah. And uh, where could the giraffe go? Well, it could go right there beside the turtle and the ducks. Oh, the ducks! Ha! I'm surprised that Chester still has this at the trading post. You would have thought he would have traded those ducks. Yeah, they're kind of cute, aren't they? they? They remind me of the of the three little ducks in the song, and there's the one leading the rest. Three little ducks that I once knew Fat ones, thin ones, funny ones too And the one little duck with the feather on her back She led the others with a quack, quack, quack Quack, quack, quack 
quack, quack, quack. She led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Down to the river they would go. A wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. And the one little duck with the feather on her back, she led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> She led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Okay, little duckies. Well, maybe you'd better, better go back on the table here. Oh, you know what? I'd better turn the TV on and see if their show is on yet. Should be starting just about now. Okay. Oh, there they Hello, are. Chester. Well, here we are on television. We're on TV. Yeah, this right is now. Right, right now. <gasps> oh, gee. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Oh, you're not going to be shy on me, are you? Mm -hmm. Not usually shy, but oh, I've never not. been on TV before. Oh, you'll love this. Oh. Is that the camera? That? Oh, yeah, that's the camera. Right now, it's taking a picture of us, and people at home can see us on TV. Oh, a high camera person. <laughs> hey, you know what? I feel in, in a traveling mood. Why don't you and I sing a traveling song right now? Oh, okay, sure. Let's fire up the engine. All right. <laughs> We're gonna go for a trip and then we'll come right back. We're gonna take a railroad track. We'll take a train that goes choo choo. choo, -choo. We're gonna take a trip and you can too. Oh, chug a chug a chug a chug a chug a choo choo choo. A chug a chug a chug a chug a choo choo choo. A chug a chug a chug a chug a clickety crack. A chug a chug a chug a down the railroad track. Well, it's time to go. You see this great big train? Well, it's got to start slow. Yeah. Wave at your friends when they wave at you, and then you listen to the train go. Well, the sound on the track is a clickety clack. It seems to be saying, we'll be right back. We're leaving by the station by the whole wooden track. And the sound that we make, it's clickety-clack. A clickety-clack. All aboard! Chug, chug, chug. That was fun. Very nice traveling song. Yeah, thank you. I enjoyed that myself. Hey, Mr. Engineer. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got the train all steamed up. Why don't we go down for a ride to Morningtown? Well, let's go for a ride now. All right. Train whistle blowing makes a sleepy noise. <laughs> Underneath their blankets go all the girls and boys. Heading from the station out across the bay. All bound for Morningtown, many miles away. <laughs> you take it. Okay. Okay. Chester's at the engine. Susie rings a bell. John swings a lantern to show that all is well. Rocking, rolling, riding out along the bay. Bow down for Morningtown, many miles away. Well, it's time to be heading on down the track. And you know what that means, Chester. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye -bye. Oh, and bye, Mr. Dressup, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye, Mr. Dressup. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Oh, boy. <laughs> they said goodbye to me right on television. Uh, looked pretty good to me. Oh, the, oh, I've got an idea. There's something here that I can uh, use to play a little joke on them just before they get back here, if I can get it set up in time. This is what it is right here. And See what it is? It's like a TV set, see? Here's the knobs to turn it on. And I can get behind it and pretend that I'm on television. And I know I'll be a clown. I think there's a clown costume around here somewhere. Yep, here it is right here. That's it. Very colorful. <laughs> so Chester and Mark have been on television and then they finish and then they come back here and then they see me on television. It's going to be a big television day. Now, uh, let's, oh yes, here it is. Yeah. The clown wig. Nice clown hair, isn't it? Anything missing? Right, the clown nose. There 
there it is. And now let's see if I can get behind here. Yeah, that should be all right. Well, I think I'm all ready. Wow, hey, Mark. Oh, 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 I hear them coming. All right, well, I'm going to get ready to do my television show. I wonder if Mr. Dressup liked our show. I yeah. wonder where he is. Mr. Dressup? Uh, Mr. Dressup? Mr. Dressup? Where are you? That's really strange. You know, he said he'd be here when the show was over. I wonder. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? Yeah. Came from over there. Hmm. Yeah, came from here somewhere. <laughs> it's coming from right in here, Chester. Hmm. <laughs> oh, gee, it looks like him. It looks like a television. I know, it does. It looks well, like Push one. the button and see what happens. I'll try. <gasps> well, hello there. <laughs> it's, it's Mr. Dress Up. <laughs> on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, well, Mr. Dress Up. What are you doing on television, Mr. Dress Up? It's easy. I'm a clown. <laughs> oh. I like being a clown in the circus. What fun for everyone, especially me, because I'm he who the clown in the circus. <laughs> I like painting my face in the circus. Blue streaks along my cheeks and red paint goes all over my nose. Why to be in the circus? <laughs> People come to see the circus under the top. It's the greatest show in town. They like everything about it, but when it's done, everybody cheers for the clown. Oh, I like blowing balloons in the circus. I won't stop until they pop. The lions all roar when I blow more. Where? Right here in the circus. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray for the circus thank clown. You, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, like thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, he popped out of the TV. He well, popped right out of the TV. How did you like being on television, Chester? Oh, you know, it was fun. And when I was singing, I, I almost forgot that I was on television. Mm -hmm. Oh, you had that train rolling right along. Oh, it, it was so much fun. Mr. Dress Up, I hope we can do it again sometime. Ah, uh, well, Me actually, uh, why don't you use this TV? And you can just stand behind it and practice. Oh, what a great idea. Okay. okay. Well, before we start doing any TV, any more TV, we're going to have to say goodbye, though. But oh, we'll okay. see you soon again. So, till next time, bye-bye from... Mark? Chester the Crow. And me. Mr. Mr. Dress Up. Bye-bye.